Hello, I'm Jamie Good. It's 8am on a July morning in Jerez, Spain, and I'm heading to meet Willy Perez of Bodega Luis Perez. Willy is one of the leading figures in the sherry revival, and he's looking to capture the great sherry wines of the past. This is the El Corregidor vineyard within the Carrascal Paja. Willy's mission is to bring back the attention to the vineyard. Palomino is not a neutral break, and terroir matters for sherry just as it does in Champagne and Bordeaux. In the 19th century, all the wines were classified by soil type. There were nine types in the classification, three each about barisa, clay and sand. Soil used to be more important than aging. Here, Willie's about to explain how the soils came to be the way they are in this region. Ocean, and then you have an island in the middle, okay, which is all the mountains of Cadiz and Granada. And then you had two stretches. The north one is the future Rio Guadalquivir. And the south one is the future Estrecho de Gibraltar. Okay, Estrecho de Gibraltar is still here, but this stretch collapsed, you know, and closed completely. So for living the diatom needs two main things. The sun, the light, and the organic material, or also salinity, pH, or whatever. So you have in an ocean the light in the top, and then in the, in the bottom of the ocean you have the organic material that falls from the continent. When Andalusia went like this, you had here a situation very good for the diatoms to live. So it has been like 10 to 15 million years, you know, fell in and fell in like one millimeter more or less every 100 years, more or less. So we had like a shape, really long shape from 200 meters to 400 meters, more or less. And then when the sea release and, you know, come back, you have all the mountains on the hills of El Marco de Jerez because the sea came again and retire again and then you have all this situation and obviously you have all the clay in the bottom then you have albariza with clay in the middle of the hill and then you have the really pure albariza in the top of the hill it's an enlarged version of the floor yeah 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 beautiful that in the top of cordoba okay so in fact it's hard to achieve this vineyard in jerez in san lucar you know harvest so we pick every crop depending on You need to taste, obviously. But what we want to recover is a white wine inside the sherry wall. A white wine with maybe five months of Cianza Biologica, six months, and had a category for the base of the pyramid. And let the very old sherries in the point of the pyramid. But we need that base to, you know, make the sherry survive. If you want to stand the same measurements in all the history, during centuries, so one carretada is 690 kilos or 60 canastas. So all the people needed to take 60 of these to earn the, you know, journey. So this situation is three plus three, okay? And it's the exact size to put one carretada here, 690 kilos, okay? So you need four people here with the feet, always in the same direction, okay? So you start with this size, this amount of grapes, more or less. Once you press it like this, you take this and put the half in another one, okay? So this is empty, and right, you put here like this again, and press it again. Once you press it, you put the, this quarter here. Okay, and then you finish it, all the, what we call first pressing, Gemma. Gemma is the name for the wine you obtain by the fit, Gemma, okay? So then you have the second pressing. You put like this, take all the skins, and you need to build here a cylinder. You 
this is complicated, really complicated. You need to put like this, and then you put this rock we cut and plate, and put around. Mm -hmm. Then every two, more or less, you put more grapes, and then you protect for falling, and put like this, and then more and more, and you build a cylinder with them plate wow. till here. And then you put these two pieces here, okay? And then start to put down and pressing and pressing and the most come through the blender, okay? This is the second pressing. I will show you photos because my English is not that good to explain this properly. That is quite simple, okay? This is the second pressing. With the gemma and the press, you will have a cask. So the measurements of the cask is also the same from a carretada. So if you need to pick or have 200 casks, you will have or you will need 200 people making the harvest. Because one carretada will give you one cask. Okay? Sometimes less, sometimes more, depending on the harvest, but more or less one cask. Okay? So, as I told you, this is typical to fill the skin, and then with a jar, you take one half cask there, and with a jar, you will fill everything. So, traditionally, all the wines were fermented in the vineyard in the past, in the 19th century. We have another room there for that, okay? But in the 1970s, 1960s, with all the situation with cherries, this modern thing, we needed to build new wineries in the center of the town. Really big wineries. So in that moment, you couldn't separate Balbaina from Machernudo, from Carrascal, from whatever, because the pressing were very, very big. So every, you know, track, you needed to blend. So in that moment, we start to blend all the soledas with different pagos. So in that precise moment we lost the Pagos thing. Because in the, in the beginning we, ferm we did ferment all the wine in the vineyard. So the wineries, the winemaker came to the vineyard to taste the wine directly in every vineyard. So then you could put your solera with a different vineyard, you know, and you knew perfectly that. In the 1940s, 1930s, you press the mast and then you put this cup, you know, to put all the this cask into the city. Okay? So it's very, very hard, very difficult. And I you know jump one part of the process which is the Asoleo. Until six, 1969, all the grapes needed to be asoleados in this redor is the name under the sun at least seven hours. All the grapes, manzanillas, finos, everything needed to be assolado for concentration to avoid fortification. So if you need like one percent of alcohol, you will need one day of assolado. So that's why we reach it always 15 naturally with solido. In fact, in 1971, 1970, the market, you know, the let me say advertisement of Laina, which is, was one of the best known finos in the in the sherry, was a redor with grapes and soleo and was a fino. So I was born here and I never heard something of this. So the the reason is every time somebody's dying at work with this process. The lesson is everybody forgot about it. Everybody. So even my father that started to work in Sherry's in 1974 in Domek, he didn't knew the Asoleo. So I needed I, I learned by the books. And that's a pity. But you must find some people that are old. No, no, no. There's no. some we've seen them outside. That worked people. that worked with Soleo, I never, never just one one person in Balbaina. You haven't found them. They're not. They're yeah, and also Hermanos Blanco, he's, he, they told me that his father made the Soleo. But yeah. it's the, I, 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 I don't it's know. It's amazing that there's no one alive who did this from before 1970. It's not that long ago. 
is not that long. The, 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 the reason is, you know. They die young. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, the reason is that just in 30, 40 years, everybody forgot it. Red wine, which we sell, you know. And these are all the cherries. We have another room there with cherries also. Hay un sitio que no. Viene Eduardo. Ah, perfecto.